Hello viewers, welcome to our next video. Today in this video we are going to discuss about the Ajax part 2. In our earlier video we discussed about the Ajax, how to set a single item with Ajax. But today we are going to discuss a, a bit complex system. We are going to set uh, multiple items, multiple page items with Ajax. So it is a, a bit complex and we will we'll discuss how to do it. As usual we are going to have to create a application process from the shared component which is like this. You see, we have created an application process here. Get multiple. This is the name of the application process. Then see, we are gonna discuss about the. Now we run the page. Let's see how it uh, might look like. Yeah. See here, we did this uh, in earlier video. You see, the name of the department name is set here. Uh, here only one item is set. Now we will do this similar here, say 10, and then the department name and the location of the department will also be uh, viewed in the in the page. So to do that, let's go to Apex process. How we did that? You see, we'll have to create a process, application process, which is like this. Now, now let's see what the output of this query might be. Let's see. Let's run it in the uh, skill developer. See, it's like this. You see, run it. Department ID equal to 10, apply, see administration and the address. The 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 department name field will be set by administration and the address field will be set by the address of the department. So this is our goal uh, and this is the parameter and in application process we are going to use a temporary variable which we discussed uh, in our early video which is this one. This one will hold the value of the parameter item and we'll do this by by setting the value x01 in JavaScript. Okay, now let's discuss about the application process. So here is the application process. Here is the uh, department name as name, street name uh, and with the combination with the uh, city as address from departments and locations, department where department ID equal to application apex underscore application dot gx01 which is the temporary variable and location id equal to b dot location id as usual now here comes the http as far as our uh, ajax is concerned we really need http dot trn this package to send value from server side to the browser side and you see these are the there's a common thing you have to write and along along with this line you're gonna write this now you see this is the actual job we have to do. You see, here item ID equal to GX01, and this is the value, and item tag is enclosed, and again item ID equal to GX03, and this is the value, and item tag is closed. Here, where do these come from? We will set the item name. Uh, with the value and then we'll use those values here okay now let's see how to do that now if i run this page now what happens let's see see this one is working but it's not working because we haven't created the javascript yet now we will create the javascript now let's go to the designer mode now we'll have to create a dynamic action here create a dynamic, dynamic action which is uh, by default its name is new set multiple set multiple items okay the name of the dynamic, dynamic action is set multiple items and it is change and this is the and the okay change and now you see the action what will be the action the true action will be now let's see it is the execution of javascript code as we did earlier now let's see how the javascript looks like you see we, we're not gonna set any item the setting of the item will be done in javascript so you will have to deselect the option here you, you will deselect the option here the null will be selected and now you save it so it doesn't mean that uh, your uh, code is okay but uh, we will uh, edit our code as you as you've seen you have co copied from our another application 
and now we are going to make changes here. Now let us move to our designer. Okay. What we have here is P2 ID, P2 underscore D name and P2 underscore lock. Okay. Now you see now here we are going to set the value of X01 with P2 underscore id okay and it will be p2 underscore d name and p2 underscore d lock you know these two are the name of the items we have provide we are providing and these two are the name of the item and this is nothing but a string okay so these x01 and x0 sorry x02 and x03 are actually holding a string which is the value of the item name which we are going to set okay and this one is the value you see this one is the value we are passing from java uh, from our browser end to the server and which one is hold with x01 and this is uh, this is transferred to the temporary variable uh, apex underscore application dot g underscore x01 okay now this one is very important this one must be an xml okay data type must be of xml type okay now we will change these two with these two look okay now you know this this is the uh, this means that if the operation is successful that is if you get any value in g return then these codes will be executed now have a look at a deep look at uh, in this code because i have no idea what i have uh, they are written here. I have just copied from the website and put it here, and it works. Okay. So you need not be any uh, any expert in JavaScript. Just copy it and paste it, and it will work. Okay. Apart from saying that, just concentrate into this line. You see, I have changed a bit from the original one, and this is the change I have done. And you know, this is the JavaScript API for Apex I have used here. And earlier it was not like that; it was different. Now I have done this. This is the change I have done, and this is the change I have done here. And this one was very, very good. Now let's save it. Okay, it should work. Let's see. Run now. Run. Now let's see what happens. Ten. You see, this is successful one. Ten. This is the administration, and this is the address and the city. Okay, let's move to next. Now you see marketing, and this is the address. Now thirty. Similarly, it is working. And this is in you have to remember the process how it is written. Uh, this is actually you have to follow through this one, otherwise, it's not going to work. Now, let's concentrate on this line too. See, now we have we you know, let's go to the designer page and let's see, let's check the relationship between a JavaScript and the application process. You see. Uh, x01 is holding the uh, input value of p2 and I, p2 id and which is this one okay in the application process in the peer scale this one holds the value of this this one and this this item holds the value of this one which is this one okay and similarly this one holds the value of this one which is this one so you have to remember the what is the relationship between x01 and application uh, application items a temporary variables and what type of data type uh, we're going to return from the application process this is the xml type and this is the loading indicator and most importantly if it is successful what is going to do this is the javascript code is going to do and this is how uh, ajax sets multiple items into the browser page so this is the so let's run it again then okay okay so it's working fine so thank you for watching thank you everybody